hello today we have a Dell Optiplex 7000 12 generation i7 so today we are going to learn how we can install Windows on our Dell Optiplex 7000 12 generation and how we are we can configure our BIOS in order for us to access our boot menu or our partitions our hard drive partition So the next step for us is for us to power on a laptop uh, PC. After we power on a PC, we and we go to our boot menu using F12. You press F12 on your keyboard to access your boot menu. So after your boot menu windows has popped out, you choose your flash drive. You go to your flash drive enter so from here you can choose your language you go to next you install next as you can see there is no partition we have no partition here so this is where we are going to learn how we can resolve this error how we can resolve the error for us to have our drive on our partition so we we'll start the whole process back we have to go to our bios you turn off your pc then you go to your bios by pressing f2 if considering you're using dell or any other logo if it's hp you for this one you go you press your f2 consider you're using dell to enter your bios restarting your pc you have to press f2 to go to bios press your f2 to enter into your bios so this is our bios page your mouse might not likely work yes so you're going to use your keyboard to do this configuration you have to come down to storage to storage you click and enter you will see under storage we have the sata nvm operation so we have the first option is for us to disable it the second one is for aaci nvm or read-on so you see our setup is under our partition is under read-on so we have to select aaci so if your mouse part cannot work your mouse cannot work here you have to use your tap your tap button on your keyboard to access it as you can see if you're pressing your tap it's changing options so right now we are on AACI you choose by pressing enter and they will give you this option if you want to change this operation you said yes so you have to still continue pressing your tap and apply the changes apply the changes you have made you said okay then possibly the next step for us is just to exit a bios page because we are done with the configuration this is the only configuration we have to do in order for us to access a hard drive partition So right now you can see this is our partition and we can see all our drives we have all our drives here in which you can delete and create your partition according to the size you want so with the help of the configuration it has helped us to be able to solve the situation we have which was showing the error no partition or no drive found so hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like